This is a conversation between Srila Prabhupada and George Harrison recorded at Bhaktivedanta Manor in 1973. In your house? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the first time you have seen? Yes. I've just seen the photographs oh. before. Uh, we saw the many places which didn't turn out to be the war. Village is also light. Yeah. I am walking daily morning. Perfect. Mm. One priest came. Daily? <laughs> priest? Yes. Ah. <laughs> With a girlfriend. <laughs> Local priest? I do not know. They told me that he is a priest. He is black? Dressed in black? No, no. He is ordinary dress. Ah. But they told me that he is priest. In Bombay, you are going under some tourism. You have seen this movement? No. Yeah. Ah. They dismantled the deity room also. In the meantime, another message can don't go on further. They stopped. Yeah. Did you expect it somewhere like uh, in America? Yeah, never yeah. the ones. Huh? In India, you de- wouldn't expect that. No, well, this is an mm-hmm. extraordinary mm-hmm. incident. So public is in our sight. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, we we have got that uh, Marvel. You told me that. Yes, he yes, has. Yes. Uh, yes. He is, he is, uh, so and we can get it and use it for the temporary office. If we speak tomorrow to the people, we can have it the day after, probably. Oh, that's really and we can install it into it. You keep it anyway, you know. Well, I know once you get the um, proper deities, you will have something else, but I mean, then you use that somewhere else. I think you can fix up that platform permanently. Yeah. And when your throne comes, uh-huh. you can place on that platform, uh-huh. altar. Sometimes you are chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Hare Krishna. I, so, I seem to keep going in cycles. Huh? I go around in circles. Maybe it's something to do with maybe, in, you know, the Pisces, they show one fish going this way and one fish going that way. Huh. And periods when I just can't stop chanting. And then other periods were, you know, I turn into a demon again and I forget. (laughs) You are not (laughs) demon. You are demigod. (laughs) Somewhere or other you have got attached to Krishna. That will help you. I mean, even at my worst, at my worst, I can always... Bhagavatam, you are reading? See what the Bhagavatam you are reading? I'm reading the Gita. The Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Yes, that is 
all answers are there. And he goes, just read it over and over, mm-hmm. you know, just one piece over and over. Jad jad achariti sreshta tapta devi tarajana. Just take. Yeah, find out this verse. Jad, Y-A-D. Jad, Jad, Acharati, Sreshta, Tattak, Eva, Itari, Jana, Sajat, Pramanam, Kurite, Lokasrat, Anuvartate. In this column you will find, in this column, right? Right. Yes, up. Jad, Jad, Acharati. You can read the diacritic marks. Read, right? English translation? Yes. Uh. I try and read this, uh. namely the Roman. Yeah. And yeah. There is, uh, sometimes this mark yeah. means long. Ah. Like, uh, and surely long. Yeah. And How to read? The instruction is there in the yeah. back side. Yeah. How to read? When you hear, hear it from sometimes, like when you have the dots beneath the letters. I mean, no, it is not difficult. You if you practice little, the instruction is there. Because with when you see Krishna spell with the dots beneath, mm, that is. I mean, that's the only way you can say it. The direction yeah. is here. Krishna. Yeah. Direction. Yeah. Is here. I think uh, uh, at the back of Bhagavad Gita should be direction. There is something how to pronounce the words. Uh, yeah. Although the problem is that if you're trying to read, if you're trying to understand... Uh, no, you can yeah. understand my translation. Yeah. yeah. But better to listen for you, probably, to listen to a tape of my Prabhupada pronouncing Sanskrit. Yeah. Because you have a musical ear. Yeah, I, I, I can learn anything by, by hearing. hearing it. Ah, yes. Uh, <laughs> Your uh, hearing is very sharp. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Anyway. The translation is, uh, whatever action is performed by a great man, common men follow in his footsteps, and whatever standards he sets by exemplary acts, all the world pursues. So, this is your duty now. <laughs> uh, by the grace of Krishna, you are one of the great men, although you are a young man. <laughs> but Krishna has placed you in such a high position that there are many young men who follow him. So that is the instruction. There's um, yeah. you know, Shamsund and I were talking just on the way here and it's like <coughs> that when you commit yourself to something, mm-hmm. in a way it's like putting your head mm-hmm. on the chopping block <laughs> because people, you know, somebody can turn around and chop it off or maybe you're lucky and no, it doesn't get chopped up. No, it is not chopping up. <laughs> but there's, I find that there's, um, the more commitment that you make, or that I make, even though it's such a little commitment, I mean, relatively speaking, it's such a little one, now I'm getting in the area where I find that people are, it provokes um, thoughts. Well, Sometimes it provo- provokes bad reaction. <coughs> Sometimes people become uh, agitated by his words. Oh. Yeah. There is a verse that if one is fully if you give him good instruction, he becomes angry. Uh, just like the example is given. Parapanam bhujangaram kevalam vishavadhanam. He will keep a snack and if you give him milk, the result will be that uh, his poison will increase. 
పాపమానం భుజంగానం కేవలం బిజబర్ధనం సో సమ్ టైమ్స్ ఇట్ హ్యాపన్స్ దట్ ఇఫ్ వన్ ఇస్ ఫూలిస్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ హిమ్ గుడ్ అడ్వైస్ హి బికమ్ సైన్ ముఖాయ ఉపదేశ హి ప్రకోపాయన బట్ యాజ్ ఇట్ హ్యాపన్ లైక్ దట్ నో ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ సో Oh, I, you know, you can feel, I can feel little animosity comes from people who, um, I don't know for what reason, but people... Envy. Envy. Mm. I don't know which is, uh, in some ways, the more committed you are to the thing and the stronger that you are in what you do, mm-hmm. then the stronger the animosity yeah, becomes. The other side. Yeah. And I'm not sure if... You know, sometimes I get the feeling that maybe there's one person who it means something real to and ten people who it doesn't mean anything to. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure how it, if it all balances out in the end, whether... Well, that one person, though, if you reach one person, you <coughs> worth all of it. But say you don't reach any people. and then you have a choice of reaching people and you only reach one but in by reaching that one you have 20 people who are annoyed <laughs> you know how do you yeah sometimes it happens this question is that if if you preach and you see many men you meet many men you may make if you meet 10 men you may make nine of them enemies and only one will become helped by your preaching mm-hmm. So how is that? But if you don't say anything, then maybe the, all the ten of them are quite friendly. Mm. So it, is that, how is that beneficial? Uh, mm. Yes, But the preaching is different, you see. Uh, when one preaches, he must tell the truth. just like Lord Jesus Christ. The people did not like his preaching, but he did, did not stop his preaching. That is another point, you see. Uh, so, uh, in the preaching propaganda, there is possibility of creating animosity. Yes, there is possibility. Just see, uh, unnecessarily, my God-brother, sir, mm. sir, mm. sir, mm. sir, mm. sir, mm. sir, sir, mm. sir, mm. sir, 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 That's possible, you see. <laughs> We have to pay sometimes. Mm-hmm. Even Prahlad Maharaj, mm-hmm. he was a five years old boy. Mm-hmm. And his only fault was that his Krishna Kautam. His father became him. What to speak of honest? Because his father did not like God consciousness. So he became enemy of his child, although the child was only five years old. So, there is possibility on such things. Yeah. I was, I was uh, suggesting that uh, those who take the biggest risk for Krishna, mm. that even though they may stand the risk losing everything, Krishna always comes to help uh, and protect them. Uh, that is the history of everyone, just like the Pandavas. They were bereft of their kingdom, bereft of their wife. They were insulted, so many things. Still, at last they come out victorious, Arjuna and Judhisthi and the other parties. That is the Kurukshetra war. That is a fact. Krishna protects his devotee. That verse is there. Kondi apriyani hi nami bhakta panasati
So your this record album and the material world, and I I heard that has been appreciated by so many people. Even one teacher was telling me. So one teacher came to visit Prabhupada. He said he played the, your record in his classroom. He teaches religious education, mm. and uh, he, they were uh, astounded that the children. One of them began to pray, but he found one boy in, in a room alone playing the record and praying on the floor. Is that very fast? There's um, there's one song in particular which was directly. Um, the result of the conversation we had when you came <laughs> yes, in your house yes. about um, mm. fame and fortune and so how the record is now received yes then um, yes mm. Mm. the people are seeking after something mm. about spiritual enlightenment that's a fact mm. especially in the western world that is a fact we have to administer very cautiously and carefully. Then it will be taken. So one thing is uh, that when you speak of the strictures, four pins, restrictions, <laughs> restrictions, yeah. that at that point they become angry. They become angry. Yes. Because everyone is addicted to these things. Uh, I told you the story, Lord Jetland, Lord Jetland, a Marquis of Jetland, he was Lord Ronald Singh. Do, do you know him? Uh, he is Scottish man. <coughs> he was governor of Bengal when we were children, not children, young men. He was, because I was student in the Scottish Church College, so our principal, Mr. Watt, he invited him to visit. And so he was a big philosopher. He liked Indian culture and philosophy. So he, I was at that time second year class. So when he came to our class, he first of all asked, how many of you you have taken philosophy? And so our principal, Mr. Watt, informed that this is second year class. So philosophy begins from the third year. So the preliminary philosophy, logic, they might have taken some of them. So all right, how many have taken logic? <laughs> so I you are also one of them. So you are very nice gentleman. So uh, one of my god brother came here in 1935. What is, what is your birth date? Yes. 43. 43. Yeah. You are not born at that time. <laughs> 1935. So he met Lord uh, that uh, Ronald Say. Yeah. Is there any place in Scotland, Ronald Say? Has a staff? R O N A L D S A Y Ronalds. Uh, um, he was known Lord Ronalds, Marquis of Jetland. Is Jetland is a, any place? Is that right? Yeah. So. Then anyway, so he asked my dear God brother. His name was Banerjee, Mr. Banerjee. Can you make me a Brahman? So he inquired, this Lord Jetland. So he replied, yes, why not? You have to give up this four restricted things. So when he heard, he said, oh, it is impossible. It is impossible. This is our life. So when we speak to these principles, uh, sometimes people become angry. Yes. The same thing, Mukhaya Ude Sahi Prabhupada That risk is there. 
but actually that is a fact. Uh, God consciousness can be awakened proportionately as proportionally one is pure, pure, purified, uh, because Krishna is the purest. Param Brahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Paramam Bhava. That is clearly. You are the Param Brahma, the purest, uh, uncontaminated. So, unless one becomes uncontaminated of this material mode, uh, it is difficult to understand what is gone. Therefore, in our institution, we begin with this four restriction. Uh, no illicit sex, no intoxication, no mutility, no gambling. Uh, so, those who are not uh, serious about, uh, they take it, uh, what is this, uh, just like uh, Rai Rama, he remarked that I am restricting natural instincts, <laughs> especially in the Western countries. I was thinking in the beginning that I said, as soon as I shall propose this thing, these people will say, please go on, don't preach. <laughs> but I, by Krishna's grace, I do not know how these uh, young boys and girls, they agree to my proposal. I am also astonished, because in Jetland says it is impossible. I was not very much hopeful uh, when I first uh, came in your country. It was in Boston, uh, the Commonwealth uh, Dock. So I was thinking on board. I came on board. How long he was uh, It was 1965, uh, September. Uh, so I was thinking. Uh, I think it is public, you know, my yes. That as soon as I propose this thing, uh, people will refuse to hear me. Uh, but Krishna's grace, they selected the boy, they agreed. Uh, so their cooperation has helped me. We, we agree because we saw mm -hmm. someone who was uh, perfect in teaching and in uh, setting example in every way. So just by seeing you, we, we gave up. We thought, well, if we do this, then we can learn something from this man. Otherwise, we cannot learn. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, we gave up. so that is the only point. People become sometimes angry. Otherwise, we have nothing uh, to make an enemy. Uh, we simply teaching love God. If you think since 65, uh -huh. just less than eight years, and if you came with five dollars or ten dollars, and now it's so big, the organization, <laughs> yeah. I mean, think of another five years, the potential, uh -huh. then that is what people will have to, uh -huh. you know, just the, just the growth and the success is, uh, you don't need any other reason for people to, you know, have the jealousy or... Well, yes, people listen very nicely, even Africa, and especially Europe and America, the younger generation, they are liking. Just, uh, just by your words, just the words that you gave us, those words have created all this uh, That is not my word, that is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's word. Uh, so you can open this window. Shall I open? Uh, no, no, I, it's, 
Uh, I'm not uh, too hot. I see. Should I read this first? Yes, yes. Um, he quickly becomes righteous and attains lasting peace. Hmm. O son of Kunti, declare boldly that my devotee never perishes. Uh, declare boldly. Yes, Krishna says. They declare boldly to the world that my devotees will never perish. Yes. He's protecting us. Oh, yes. Hmm. This is Krishna's special mercy. Hmm. So we are teaching exactly to save the human society, you see. Uh, because the human life is specially made part by nature's gift that in this life you realize God. Uh, in other life, cats and dogs, it is not possible. Now you have God, nice human body, develop consciousness, and there are literatures, instruction. You just take advantage of them and make your life successful. Successful means that you save yourself from the repeated birth and death. This is happening. So long we will be materialistic or attached to material enjoyment, we have to accept a body, material body. Uh, Not necessarily human body. Uh, It may be, according to karma, higher grade life, demigods life, in a higher planet, or in lower grade. Uh, one day it is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, Vyahadram Prapti. You have to change this body. As you have changed a lady from childhood to babyhood, babyhood to boyhood, boyhood to youthhood. So now it is old age body. So when this body will finish, I will have to accept another body. That is a fact. But unfortunately, there is no education on this point. No hannate hannavane sarire. After destruction of this body, the spirit soul is not destroyed. Bhāsāṁsi uh, jiddāni, it's like you left your coat. That means uh, you are not uh, dead. Your coat is set aside. Similarly, this body may be destroyed. It will be destroyed because it is material. Uh, and that is Christian religion also, except resurrection. Uh, so the soul transmigrates to another body. Now this transmigration can be done in so many ways, either in this material world or in the spiritual world. In the material world also there are high-grade light. Uh, it's like uh, here in this planet also, there are so many different grades of light, so many different planets. So that is explained in the Bhagavad